got a fox out down there on the hill, but it's not light enough to say to get a shot yet. But there's one or possibly two out and about down there actually. Which is quite surprising because the uh, farm's out a lot earlier than what he normally is down there and feeding the, uh, feeding the pigs on the hill there. And his fox is out and about, not far from him either. So I think what I'll do is I'll go and set up down there and then um, see if uh, once he's done his rounds and moved on, will they come back out again. This is all golden opportunity time though really because uh, you can sit and spot around with a the thermal, pick things out nice and easily and then go over to binoculars just to double check or see what it is. So I've just given it 10 minutes out here just watching over that other hill. Um, but uh, the farm's come back round again and he's got a collie dog I've just spotted which is tearing around in amongst all the uh, all the pigs and that down there and up and down the tracks and so um, I think I'm going to be sat here quite a long time before anything else comes out. I think what I'll do is I'll drive over the top and have a look see if I can see anything further out in the valley. It's a little bit annoying really that the um, farm was out early this morning because I might have had a chance of one of them foxes but how it goes. If you come at his usual time, which is about, I don't know, eight o'clock <laughs> or something, I might have, uh, might have been all right. So this is usually quite a good uh, place to stand and have a look from. I'm pretty sure there's an earth actually down on this bank here. It's always good for foxes this bank because there's loads of rabbits on it and um, every year foxes end up having an earth there. Yeah, here we go, we've got one out, two out down there. Okay, 
see if the other one's still about. same distance There was two youngsters out on that bank, both about 350. Uh, yeah, again, nice and straightforward for the, uh, the 260 setup there. Uh, you'll notice I'm using the bigger can on there uh, at the moment. That's a really nice little unit, this, uh, for recording footage through the scope. As always, Element Nexus there. Um, sports match, quick release mounts on it, and a custom Remington 700 rifle and that's firing 143 grain um, ELDX bullets so yeah it's a good little setup this I've had this for quite a long time using a, a uh, Atlas bipod in front there and a, a um, MAE T12 scout moderator on there this thing has accounted for rather a lot of foxes just to count it for two more, so very happy with that. So uh, the wind's come in a little bit this evening, it's a bit blowy now. So rather than go back up to the uh, farm or shot the cubs, I'm going to um, have a little look around the local golf course instead. There's been a few foxes up here, so it's definitely going to be worth a, worth a look around. So I've got the trusty 223 with me this evening. Um, you'll notice I've got the infrared TH50 thermal rifle scope set on there. Lovely bit of kit that. So um, yeah, going to be completely covert. Also got the Accolade Pro 2 thermal um, binoculars too. So All right. rabbits about. Got a few bunnies about actually. I'll have to come down and have a look with the uh, two two. I just had a couple of deer come past me then. I wonder what it was at first. I thought it was a fox coming through the long grass I would just see the top of its back. Then it come out as a couple of fallow does. They're only about 100, 100, just over 100 yards away probably. There's nothing much about this side, I think what I'll do is I'll go over the other side, on the other side of the clubhouse, the uh, ground sort of drops away a little bit there. and. Uh, we can have a look on the first couple of greens. So it's usually quite a good spot because there's wooded areas both sides. So chances are we'll probably find something down there. So the foxes are a bit of a pain up here. You'd think that they might actually do some good sort of keeping the rabbit numbers down that. But in actual fact, foxes don't actually catch that many rabbits. Not, uh, not as many as what people think. So. Uh, yeah, they, they're actually a pain because they dig up the green and uh, they crap in all the sand pits. And so, yeah, it's just not what people want. They're paying a lot of money for a club membership. They don't really want to be uh, traipsing through fox crap on the greens. So, 
So yeah, any, anything that we can knock over keeps the greens keeper happy. Oh, and this area looks pretty good. Um, got woods both sides here, and the green just gently drops away and opens out a bit at the bottom. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cooler out and see if I can pull something out of the woods. So uh, what I've done is I've set myself up, I've stood back against these trees so that hides my silhouette. I'm just going to fire the cooler up and see if we can pull something in. Perfect, that was like a textbook. So I just got the cooler going and uh, I see one come in from the right hand side and um, he was cutting across and I quickly jumped over to the rifle scope, got all set up and when I looked through I couldn't see him again. And uh, then I, basically I just give it another quick squeak on the, uh, on the cooler and um, I see him coming up from the bottom of the course. So I think what happened is he ran in and he's got kind of like lost his bearings as to where he was where he was going. Anyway, he came trotting up the course and uh, I muted the cooler and he got to about I don't know, hundreds and 110 yards, something like that. And he just sat down, was just watching what was going on, so he wanted to come any closer. So I just drilled him where he was. I've got another one out here. Just coming up the track. 
Let's see if we can squeak him in. Nice. That one was just about to go through the hedge, but uh, luckily I was giving him a squeak just, just about the right time, I think, and he hadn't gone too far and it pulled him back out. And uh, he just come trotting up the track, lovely. And then he went out into the field and kind of circled around me here. And uh, I just waited for him to get clear of the buildings in the distance there. And then as soon as he was where I wanted him, I just gave him a shout, stopped him. It was only about, probably about 60 yards, he wasn't very far. Alright. Right, well, we've had a couple there. But I think what I'm going to do is before I go, I'm going to go and have a stand up on the balcony. It gives a good view out across the driving range and um, maybe have a little squeak from there, just see if anything comes in, see what it's about. Just try having a little squeak, see if I pull something in. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's a fox. Side on. Nice. Happy with that. Well, he was just just milling around over there by that head try there. Just nosed them out. Didn't look particularly big. He's put Got another one out. A little bit further, but he's still well within range, though. Thirty seconds, if that. I believe that. I think they must be youngsters. There must be a 
earth or something on that hedgerow, I reckon. It didn't look particularly big, so... I'll go down and have a look. I might just give it another minute though, just to see if there's anything else about. Well, I think uh, I'm going to call it a night now. Busy day tomorrow, so... Yeah, but... Um, fall down for the evening. Happy with that, so... Off to bed. Thanks for watching.